वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी क्लास विल कॉन्टिन्यू विद आर चैप्टर सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ब्लड थ्री टाइप ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन देम एंड ब्लड प्रेशर Today we will discuss the pumping organ of our body the heart. Our heart is a muscular organ that acts like a pump and sends blood throughout our body. It is made of special type of muscles called cardiac muscles and these muscles contract and relax continuously without rest. Our heart is located in the chest cavity in the rib cage and is a fist shaped muscular organ so now let's study the structure of heart in detail the heart is enclosed within double membrane called pericardium the space between the pericardium and the heart is filled with pericardial fluid This fluid protects the heart from external jerks and shocks and hence act as a shock absorber. The human heart consists of four chambers. Each half consists of an upper atrium and a lower ventricle. The upper two atriums are called left atrium and right atrium. and at the lower side is present right ventricle and left ventricle so in total four chambers now these atriums or auricles are called receiving chambers as they receive blood from the veins and the ventricles can be referred to as distributing chambers as they pump blood into the arteries so children note here the ventricles have much thicker walls than the auricles the flow of the blood in heart is unidirectional means the blood flows in one direction only that is from auricle to ventricle it cannot flow backward it is because of the presence of two valves tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve tricuspid valve is present at the opening of right atrium into the right ventricle and it allows the blood to flow from right atrium to the right ventricle bicuspid valve is present at the opening of left atrium into left ventricle and allows the blood to flow in that direction only the two auricles and two ventricles are separated by interventricular septum this prevents the mixing of blood with the left side totally separated from the right side so now let us study four chambers in detail first the right auricle it receives deoxygenated blood from the body through two main veins first is superior vena cava which brings deoxygenated blood from the parts of the body above the heart and second is inferior vena cava which brings deoxygenated blood from the parts below the heart after receiving the blood from these two veins right auricle pumps this deoxygenated blood to right ventricle and then this right ventricle sends the blood to lungs for purification through pulmonary artery look at the picture you can see superior and inferior vena cava are attached to right atrium and pulmonary artery to the right ventricle left auricle or atrium it receives oxygenated blood from the lungs through the pulmonary veins and left ventricle it receives oxygenated blood from the left auricle and sends to different parts of the body through aorta look at the picture children pulmonary veins are attached to the left atrium and aorta is attached to the left ventricle besides tricuspid valve and bicuspid valve we have two more valves in the heart the flow of blood to the pulmonary artery and the aorta from the ventricles is regulated by these two valves 
दे आर पल्मोनरी वॉल्व एंड अयोटिक वॉल्व पल्मोनरी वॉल्व गार्ड्स द ओपनिंग ऑफ द राइट वेंट्रिकल इन टू द पल्मोनरी आर्टरी एंड अयोटिक वॉल्व गार्ड्स द ओपनिंग ऑफ द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल इन टू द अयोटा द राइट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट कलेक्ट्स डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम द बॉडी एंड पम्प्स इट टू द लंग्स द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द हार्ट कलेक्ट्स ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम द लंग्स एंड पम्प्स इट टू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी The heart is an organ made up of several tough layers of muscle. The pericardium is the thin layer that covers the exterior, while the endocardium lines the inside walls. The heart is divided into four chambers, two upper and two lower. The upper chambers, known as the atrium, receive blood coming into the heart. The lower chambers are the ventricles that pump blood out. Between each chamber are valves that open and close and help keep the blood moving. They are the tricuspid, mitral, pulmonary, and aortic valves. A pumping cycle starts when oxygen depleted blood returns to the heart after circulating throughout the body. The blood enters through the right atrium before flowing to the right ventricle. It's then pumped to the lungs via the pulmonary arteries. There, blood is rejuvenated by air that's breathed in. The oxygen-rich blood returns to the heart through the left atrium, where it goes to the left ventricle. Then, by way of the aorta artery, the fresh blood is pumped throughout the body before the process repeats itself. So, in today's class, children, we have discussed the four chambers of the heart, that is the left auricle and right auricle, left ventricle and right ventricle and four valves which are present in the heart which regulate the flow of blood in the heart and they are tricuspid valve bicuspid valve pulmonary valve and aortic valve children we will continue with the chapter circulatory system and discuss the path of blood circulation in the next class thank you and take care